This is Gordon Stiles, the founder and CEO of Star Rapid. I've been involved in rapid prototyping and new product development for over 35 years, and I'm delighted to welcome you back to another exciting installment of Serious Engineering for Serious Engineers. Serious Engineering. Now, before we get started, can I have a word for just a moment? I have something that I want to say to you, something very important. Are you listening? Okay. Plastics. There's a great future in plastics. Think about it. Plastics. In this two-part series, we're going to look more closely at nine of the most common plastic resins that we use here at Star Rapid every day. In part one, we'll cover the first four in approximately the order that they were first developed or discovered. We hope that you will not only find this interesting, but that it will also help to clarify the resin that best suits your needs. And please note that we'll be considering only the most generic resin types. There are many formulations from different manufacturers, so before you choose any resin, make sure you read and understand the material data sheet. You can find some great online resources for important material characteristics in the links below somewhere down there. Polycarbonate or PC. First discovered by accident way back in 1898 in Germany, PC wasn't synthesized or commercialized until 1958 by Bayer under the trade name Macrolon. GE came out with their version Lexan in 1960. PC is similar to another clear plastic acrylic, but it's stronger and more temperature resistant and thus more expensive. PC can be made as transparent as glass and along with its high impact resistance, it's great for hockey rink windows, safety helmets, lenses and compact discs. With the application of low heat, it can easily be bent or folded like sheet metal. PC is not great, however, for resisting solvents and oils and most varieties are not food safe because they contain BPA. It also scratches easily and so the surface needs a scratch resistant coating. Polyamide or PA or nylon. Invented in 1938 by Dr. Wallace Carruthers' team at DuPont, nylon was originally intended as a substitute for rayon or silk in the making of women's hosiery, which had become ever more fashionable and even necessary as hemlines got higher. In most every cabaret, from the Crystal Bay, Silk at the time came mainly from Japan, but this supply became endangered because of World War II. Hugely successful, nylon was the first example of a truly engineered synthetic compound designed as the result of pure research rather than being accidentally discovered through experimentation. With the advent of World War II, nylon was used to make ropes, parachutes, nets and gas tanks, petrol tanks if you live in the UK, because of its durability and resistance to hydrocarbons. Nylon is strong, lightweight and heat resistant and can be strengthened with the addition of glass fibers to make mechanical components that have good durability and low surface friction. And of course, nylon fabric is still very common in outer wear. However, nylon does absorb water over time and it's not resistant to strong acids or bases. ABS. ABS or acrylonitrile butadiene styrene Try saying that five times after you've had a few pints. Well, well, well. How the turntables. This very useful plastic was introduced by Borg Warner in 1954. It's stronger than nylon, easy to mold and more impact resistant. So it's considered an engineering grade plastic. You'll find ABS in gears, shafts and other light duty mechanical components. It's also a good insulator for electrical connectors. ABS is used to make sporting goods, toolboxes, typewriter keys and famously, Lego bricks. Ouch! Aha! Additionally, ABS is sometimes combined with PC, polycarbonate, to make PC ABS which improves overall strength and enhances moldability while maintaining tight molding tolerances. One potential drawback is low UV resistance, which in fact caused one of the biggest automotive recalls in history in the 1990s due to faulty seatbelt actuators. And it can burst into flames if you give it a dirty look. 
polyethylene or PE. Another accidental discovery, PE was first identified in 1898, but it wasn't until the early 1950s that the chemists in Germany and the Netherlands tried to synthesize it on an industrial scale. Hmm, Germany, that gets me thinking. Beer, sausages, lederhosen, executive limousines, precision engineering, forests, black forests, black forest gatto, autobahns, excellent roof guttering, Oh, now I've got to add plastics. Hmm. Philips Corporation had a process that wasn't stable and they ended up making tons of non-conforming plastic that nearly bankrupted the company. That is until all that scrap material was bought up by the American toy company Whammo, who, in 1958, needed a huge supply of cheap and available plastic to keep up with a sudden worldwide craze for hula hoops. Nope, we don't know why either. Now, PE in various formulations is the single most common plastic in the world. It's found in numerous food containers and packaging, plastic bags and shrink wrap, and even gears and bearings. PE is flexible, versatile, tough and chemical resistant. But because there are so many varieties with different melt temperatures, it can be hard to sort for recycling. That's all the time we have for part one. Next episode in part two, we'll talk more about high density polyethylene and a few other common resins. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe by hitting the lovely bell icon down there somewhere. And if you need to make parts for your next project, we're standing by to support you when you contact us at Star Rapid via the link. Also probably below, maybe above, who knows. Remember, we are the people who bring you serious engineering for serious engineers. Serious engineering. Side effects may include doing the Charleston, Jitterbug, Lindy Hop, Big Apple, Black Bottom, Tango, Foxtrot, Kangaroo Hop, Chicken Scratch, Turkey Trot, Castle Walk, Texas Tommy and the Shag, while hula hooping to the music of the Plastic Ono Band.